Right, what is happening this week, or what has been happening this week? Now, what has been happening this uh, year? Um, a few people have asked me, you know, what's going on, Phil? You seem to be a lot more active on, uh, certainly on Facebook at the moment, and that's not wrong. That's correct. It's, it's 20 days, actually. For 20 days, I've been fairly active, certainly on uh, Facebook. Now, when it comes to me and what I do and help people with, one of the key messages is about uh, being consistent, okay? If you don't do the work, you're not going to see the results. You know, you don't need me to tell you that. Um, you already know that. It doesn't matter if it's to do with, uh, you know, your nutrition, exercise, mindset work, you know, whatever the case may be. You know, if you are um, starting and stopping every time you have this plan to eat well, eat better, lose some weight, have more energy, you know, whatever we're, we're talking about, but you're only doing it on them days, you know, when you feel good, you know, it's not going to work, okay, you know that, and if you just choosing to exercise when you feel like it, or when the weather's nice, or, or when there's somebody else is going to do it with you, things are not going to work, it's going to break down and and you know with the mindset work if you are allowing certain let's say circumstances situations at the moment um kind of override them positive thoughts uh, and actions then again you're not going to be able to be consistent with it so it, it's a key message you know for me um now what I'm going to, I, I saw something, you know, the other day on here in, in a different group and I'm going to use it as um, an example. I'm not going to mention, you know, any names. He, I don't know if he'll be <laughs> listening to this. It doesn't really matter if he does because he would possibly agree. And uh, I, somebody put a question. It was like, you know, what's stopping you from I'm exercising at the moment? Something along them lines. And he popped up and said, time, okay, which I know for a fact, because, you know, I know this person, that that is something that they commonly use. You know, whether that's an excuse or reason, we're not going to go into that, but time is a thing for him and often, you know, holds him back. Now, what he does is he would teach and help people with, that's you know, their business and their marketing and I know for a fact something that he would say is that if you if you um if you don't have time to market your business, you need to find time, right? Okay, that's 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 there's nothing wrong with that. That is true. Okay, now the issue here certainly for me is that if you're telling people that, if you're telling me that, but then I know that them same challenges and obstacles in a different way are stopping you from something else, then that doesn't really sit too well with me. You know, I'd want to work with someone who I knew was doing the things that he was telling me or teaching me to do, just dressed up differently in a different area that he's expecting me to do. But that's, that's just me. That's not to say that that's right or wrong. That's just because of the way I go about things and what I do with my work. And it's all about having concentrating on different areas and, and creating this balance not just going like gung-ho with exercise or just being on a diet we need to make small improvements with exercise small improvements with your nutrition and small improvements with the way you think and the way you feel okay not just like let's just do everything at once and then just hope and see what happens it's about taking them small actions focusing on the small areas but you know, being consistent. Now, before um, Christmas, I was um, having a call with a mentor of mine and, you know, it was a reminder. Maybe he was calling me out. I don't, doesn't matter what you want to call it. It's the same thing. And he, he reminded me, you know, of this, you know, we had a mutual friend and I'm helping with him with his nutrition. And he was like, well, if he just kept dipping in and out of, of that where would where would that get him and i was like yeah you know that's a light bulb moment for me and i know that i knew that it was just the reminder that i needed so i was like right i'm gonna start in january 
because that's what you do at Christmas time, is I'm going to focus and double down on a certain area of, of my life, which is my business. Now, I've got a process that I use personally that I've created with um, people who want to improve their nutrition and their exercise and, and their lifestyle. So I'm using that, it's just a small part of it. Um, it's free B, it's actually five, but I'm just going to mention free here where it's body, brain and business. Now, we have, um, we have a, a goal, a big goal, and that's what people do often. They're like, right, I want to lose weight, I want to improve my business, I want to, um, I want to run 10k, whatever the case may be. And then they can write that down on a post-it note and then chuck that away or they don't even write it down and then they just think about it or they tell someone and it becomes nothing because they've taken no actions now it's all right to have a goal like that that's an outcome goal but you need to then move that to the side and then reverse engineer things back break things down and you know so we have process goals what do we need to do weekly uh, what do we need to do daily now these are often really small things but small things for a reason, because when you keep doing them and you build moment momentum, you have consistency. And then you start to snowball this effect and that um, outcome goal starts to um, be a lot more achievable. You get there faster, basically. Anyway, so uh, body, right? I'm, I'm doing something at the moment. I've talked about it already on here, so I don't mind sharing. And that's that I'm eating more vegetables more vegetables on top of what I was already doing. And that's a daily thing for me, and I've done that. I've given myself a little tick every day. Well done, Phil. <laughs> and then for my for brain, the second B, it's learning. I want to learn something every day, or relearn, reread old notes about something that I've, I've kind of, I know, I know, knew, no, no, <laughs> but I've forgotten about bit of a reminder or oh, it is something you know brand new related to how did it help me how did it help clients you know blah 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 okay but just small things it might only be 15 minutes a day but i'll do it every day and then over the week and over the month it's become quite a big effort so i've moved forward and so it comes down to business so what is it for business now a small part of what i'm doing at the moment is posting every day writing on here or a video a bit like this one <laughs> um but every day now that comes with a lot of challenges now <laughs> some people have said you know they like what i write they like what i do but i haven't always been consistent with it because i have a lot of struggles and fears about this stuff and like people reading this do they even care you know is this shit <laughs> you know just silly stuff like that that other people would get when it comes to oh i don't want to go to the gym or, i can't do the diet it's too hard i don't want to do it i've got no support i'm not motivated yeah you get what i'm saying right it's always the same it's just dressed up differently so i am just as a mentor says to me, go first, do it, just do it, it doesn't matter. So that's what I'm doing, posting every day. I don't care if you don't like it, I do if you do. It, I appreciate when people send me a message and go, really likes that, resonated with that, can you tell me a bit more, they like my posts and, and stuff like that, because that helps keep me going, you know. I will keep doing it if people don't like it, but as I will say to my clients, is that if one person is thinking it or they like something that I write, you can be guaranteed that 10 or 20 people do too. You know, a lot of people hold themselves back when it comes to certainly social media because they're scared of what people might think or say. And the same is like someone just going to the gym. I won't go to the gym because what if that person over there is looking at me? They're not. They don't care. <laughs> They've got their own issues going on. So sometimes you just got to crack on. Stick to what you want to do. Have, an, have a plan. Stick to process. Have some accountability. And you will achieve a lot more, let's say, in uh, 12 weeks than what most would do in uh, 12 months. So let me know what you think about this. If you don't like it, that's cool. You can tell me. <laughs> if you do, I'd appreciate it. Anyway. See you next week.